Hello guys, as I had mentioned in my previous video, later installing the PMI online sensors and upgrading the softwares for PMI and COCOS EDS to higher versions, the newly commissioned online sensors must be calibrated before putting them into operation. It is also the requirement as per IMO NOX technical code. In this video, I'll explain and demonstrate you the procedures for calibrating the online sensors. Friends, the online sensors are calibrated using a dedicated certified reference sensor. Basically, the reference sensor is a handheld sensor attached to the PMI calibration box. It is the same sensor and unit which is used to record cylinder pressure measurements manually on engines without PMI online system, which I had already described you in my old videos. Before starting the calibration procedures, the engine must be operated at a stable fuel index. There should not be any fluctuations on the fuel index. Secondly, the engine must be operated above 40% MCR. And lastly, all the online sensor cable connections must be intact. You can confirm the continuity of the cable connections in the maintenance section. For this, select connection test and cross-check all the online sensors on all units are transmitting the value in milliamperes on the output channels. Now to start with the calibration procedures, open the PMI auto tuning program. In the configuration menu, open maintenance section and select tools. Open the main page, select run wizard for calibrate online sensor menu. Upon clicking the run wizard option, a page will be displayed with description detailing when the sensor needs to be calibrated. On the left corner of the page, a message will flicker that PMI calibration box not connected and reference sensor not connected to PMI calibration box. You can select next and then proceed to engine to connect the reference sensor and calibration box to the reference junction box. Once the connections are made between the reference sensor transducer, PMI calibration box and junction box, a ready to measure message will be displayed on left corner of the screen. Once you get ready to measure message, proceed to the engine and carry out manual measurements exactly in same manner which I had explained you in my old videos with topic ME engine performance recording. Except that you should not blow through the indicator cocks as the new indicator cocks accommodate online sensors in them. The system records pressure measure measurements from the online sensors simultaneously with measurements from the reference sensor. As mentioned earlier, once you get ready to measure message, manually record the pressure measurements for all units one by one and check the cylinder pressure versus crank angle diagram. The gain values of all units must be equal. Once all diagrams are taken, then you can click next to proceed to the validation phase. Make a visual inspection of the pressure curves received from each cylinder. Check that the pressure curves from online sensor approximately follows and has the same form as pressure curves from reference sensor. Also check the gain factors table. Compare the gain factors calculated for each cylinder. The values should approximately be the same. If at all there is a deviation in gain factors or the pressure curves measured by the reference sensor and online sensors on any unit are not in line, you have a choice to reject the measurement. Here, I'll demonstrate you how to reject and repeat a measurement of a cylinder in question. Suppose there is a deviation in gain values of unit number 6. Then click reject option and select accept for all other units. After accepting readings for unit number 1 to 5 and rejecting unit number 6 reading, click previous to make a new pressure diagram for unit number 6. 
the rejected measurement will be deleted. Press OK and connect the reference sensor to unit number 6. Open the indicator cock and record the cylinder pressure versus crank angle diagram, same as explained earlier. Once you acquire the readings for unit number 6, click Next. Check unit number 6 diagram and gain value. If all are in line, accept the readings. Once all readings are accepted, click Next. Now all the gain factor values will be used in future to calibrate the online sensors. To complete the calibration process, click Finish. Once you click Finish, you will go back to main page and the system starts initializing and starts gathering the data. The details of time and date is recorded on the setup page for last run calibration of online sensors. Now the PMI online system and online sensors are fully reflecting accurate measurements of the cylinder pressures. Friends, this is how you can conduct calibration of newly installed online sensors using reference sensors. I would repeat again that please do not blow through the indicator cocks with online sensor systems while the engine is running. This can damage the sensors. The blow through is carried out only with air kick during starting preparations of main engine. Guys, the information in the videos I am uploading are correlated with my previous videos. So please do subscribe the channel and watch the previous videos so that you have a clear picture about how an ME engine can be operated efficiently. If at all you find the videos informative, do like and hit the bell icon. Your comments are highly appreciated. Also, I'll be coming up with more videos on ME engine fuel pump, exhaust valve actuator, cylinder lubricator, HPS and HCU accumulator, main air starting valve, overalls. So do subscribe my channel and gather a valuable information. Thank you for watching. Wish you all a safe voyages and healthy stay on board. Thank you.